Do you know that 90% of bridges or cyber attack worldwide are accomplished through phishing? When it comes to phishing, the modus operandi is usually the same depending on the objective of the email. The objective can be to harvest your credentials such as credit card and debit card details, username and password to your bank account or any other account, and another is to gain access to your device. This is how to determine if an email is malicious or it's a phishing email. So I'll do this by demonstrating with one of the e one of my emails. Okay, uh, let's just go to this email. This is an email from Digital Ocean. Okay, let's open it. Now, in checking if an email is phishing, the sender email you have to look at the sender email very well if it's correct or not. Because most times they, what they do is they masquerade as trusted entity. Now, for you to check the email headers, uh, look at what you're going to do. You go to your that email. For example, I'm doing this in Google. Uh, you go to this, these three dots. Then you go to Show Original. When you have this, you copy this. Then you go back to. You go back to the email header here. This is the website you're going to use. It's called the Google the Google Two Boss. Uh, you just paste the email header here. So once you paste the email header, you click on Analyze. So you you wait for it. As you can see, uh, the message ID, the the date it was created, uh, the from. This is the person who sent it. Then this is the email where they sent it to. This is the subject of the email. And this is the SPF password, uh, IP address, the DKIM and DMAC. It passed the whole test. Okay, this is a, tr uh, a trusted email from um, Digital Ocean. So when checking for a phishing email, this is the first tool, tool you're going to use to analyze the header. So another thing you have to check out for is, uh, let's go back to the email. Another thing you have to check out for in the email is if there are links. As you can see, there are links li uh, directing you to somewhere in this path. You can analyze it. Let's say there's an attachment. You can analyze the attachment uh, with a tool called um, Virus Tutor. You can go to, let's say, for example, you the attachment is already downloaded. I don't um, advise you to download attachments when, that you don't know where it's from. You can copy the link address. This is the way you do it. You copy the link address. You go to somewhere like VirusToto. You can see it's file URL search. This is the website, VirusToto.com. So you can just go to URL since it's the URL part you have. So you paste it um, and you paste it. You click on search. Uh, no, you paste it. Sorry. When you paste it, you click enter and you see the results it brings back to you. If the file is malicious, you're going to see it. What these tools does is it you, the whole antivirus, most of the uh, well-known antivirus software companies, it's going to analyze it with their search engine. And if the, they found anything, uh, as you can see, it comes back clean. So you see it's clean, okay? So another thing you can do is, for example, after you've analyzed the email header and you see the IP address or maybe let's say the URL. In this case, there's a URL, which is the digital ocean, uh, this thing. You just go to the email, the email. You go to the email. Uh, this is how you know the domain. When you, this is the domain where this email is coming from. So it's digitalocean.com. So there are things you can do also. You can use a tool called uh, the URL scan to, to check the activities of this uh, of the domain that sent you that. You can click on public scan. 
when they ask you to verify if you're a human being, just verify the catch. So it's going to search through and give you a record of the the domain that sent that to you. But these three tools, this one, the Google um, uh, Toolbox, the Google Helder Analyzer, uh, it's very important for analyzing the email header. So if it's if the this thing it's not from Alexa Digital Ocean, you would know from here. Okay, you're going to see if the the um, the the SMTP passes this test. Okay, so you have to uh, finally you have to confirm the attachment when the attachment is uh, fishing or if it's if it doesn't pass the test uh, what you can do for the larger community is to report the the signatures of that file so when you report a signature of the, those files like for example if it's um, a phishing uh, or malicious if there's a phishing or malicious attachment or the site is fishy uh, what virus total is going to do is going to take a footprint of that uh, file or the URL and it's going to share it to the community as you can see you can look for details more of what you're looking for this is the more details as you can see it gives it gives you a lot uh, about the whole about the that this thing, the behavior of the file, you just can't. So here we have the community, but I will make a video on how to use virus tutor. But uh, if it's just for simple analysis, uh, you can just do it. Just go to virustutor.com. You paste the file. Let's say it's, um, let's say it's, for example, it's um, a file. You see a place, you choose if it's a file. If it's an uh, if it's an, uh, a website, you can choose a website. So I'll be ending this video here. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel where we teach about the phishing tools and how it's used, so you can gain better knowledge about it.